Julia Roberts American Actress Julia Fiona Roberts is an American actress. Known for her leading roles in films encompassing a variety of genres, she has received multiple accolades, including an Academy Award, a British Academy Film Award, and three Golden Globe Awards. Born, October 28, 1967, age 56 years, Smyrna, Georgia Spouse, Daniel Motor, M. 2002, Lyle Lovett, M. 1993-1995. Children, Hazel Motor, Phineas Motor, Henry Daniel Motor. Niece, Emma Roberts. Height, 5 foot 8. Parents, Walter Grady Roberts, Betty Lou Berdemus. Julia Fiona Roberts never dreamed she would become the most popular actress in America. She was born in Smyrna, Georgia, to Betty Lou, Berdemus, and Walter Grady Roberts, one-time actors and playwrights, and is of English, Irish, Scottish, Welsh, German, and Swedish descent. As a child, due to her love of animals, Julia originally wanted to be a veterinarian, but later studied journalism. When her brother, Eric Roberts, achieved some success in Hollywood, Julia decided to try acting. Her first break came in 1988, when she appeared in two youth-oriented movies Mystic Pizza, 1988, and Satisfaction, 1988. The movies introduced her to a new audience, who instantly fell in love with this pretty woman. Julia's biggest success was in the signature movie Pretty Woman, 1990, for which Julia got an Oscar nomination and also won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Actress. Even though Julia would spend the next few years either starring in serious movies, or playing fantasy roles like Tinkerbell, the movie audiences would always love Julia best in romantic comedies. With My Best Friend's Wedding, 1997, Julia gave the genre fresh life that had been lacking in Hollywood for some time. Off-screen, after a brief marriage, Julia has been romantically linked with several actors, and married cinematographer Daniel Motor in 2002, the couple has three children together. Julia has also become involved with UNICEF charities and has made visits to many different countries, including Haiti and India, in order to promote goodwill. Julia Robert remains one of the most popular and sought-after talents in Hollywood. Family Spouses Daniel Motor, July 4, 2002 Present, Three Children Lyle Lovett, June 25, 1993 to March 22, 1995, divorced. Children. Finn Motor. Hazel Motor. Henry Motor. Parents. Betty Lou Roberts, Berdemus. Walter Grady Roberts. Relatives. Eric Roberts, sibling. Nancy Motes, half sibling. Lisa Roberts Gillen, sibling. Emma Roberts, niece or nephew. Trademarks. Her bright smile. Gentle voice. Her mole. Trivia. Refused to star in The Proposal, 2009, unless Disney offered her a higher salary. Eventually, Disney hired Sandra Bullock for even less money than it had offered Roberts, and the film became one of the highest-grossing romantic comedies, ever. As a gesture of thanks for giving her children music lessons, Coretta Scott King paid the hospital bills when the pregnant Mrs. Roberts delivered her next child. That child ended up being Julia. A 9,000-year-old female skeleton excavated in Bulgaria in November 2004 was called by the archaeologists Julia Roberts because of the perfect teeth it had. They said that woman would have had a perfect smile, just like the actress. After George Clooney and Brad Pitt found out that she was going to be joining them in Ocean's Eleven, 2001, they sent her a card that read we heard that you get 20 per film and in it was a $20 bill. The joke was that she reportedly gets $20 million per film. Only agreed to film her Bali scenes from Eat Pray Love, 2010, on location if the producers agreed to allow her to have her family over there during the shoot. Her films have grossed more than $2 billion at the U.S. box office, making her the biggest female movie star of all time. As Aaron Brockovich Ellis is right-handed and Roberts is not, she had to learn to use her right hand for Aaron Brockovich, 2000. Some of her costumes from Mirror Mirror, 2012, were so elaborate that her kids could hide under her skirts, while other designs made her pull a muscle. 
The costumes were the final work of Eiko Ishioka, who posthumously received an Oscar nomination for the creations. Personally handpicked Nicole Kidman to be her co-star in Secret in Their Eyes, 2015. She sent her an email with the script attached that read, Will you do this with me? Aunt of Emma Roberts. An accomplished equestrienne, she did her own writing in Runaway Bride, 1999. By 2004, she had a fortune estimated to be worth $212 million. Forbes once named her as number eight among the 20 richest women in entertainment. Married boyfriend, cameraman Daniel Motor, at their ranch home in Taos, New Mexico, in a midnight ceremony. Bruce Willis was the only celebrity that attended her wedding to Daniel Motor. Julia wore a simple pink cotton halter dress by pal Judith Balerian, July 4, 2002. First actress to reach $20 million mark salary, for Aaron Brockovich, 2000, the first actor to do so was Jim Carrey, for years earlier, who was paid the same amount for his role in The Cable Guy, 1996. In short her smile for $30 million. Was engaged to Kiefer Sutherland for a brief period. Broke up with him just days before their planned marriage in 1991. Was forced to deliver her twins Finn Motor and Hazel Motor via emergency caesarean section eight days ahead of their due date, following a difficult pregnancy. Lies on her back to have her makeup applied before going on to a film set, she insists it gives her a relaxed look. Was four months pregnant with her son Henry when she completed filming Charlie Wilson's War, 2007. Dated Benjamin Bratt. 1997 to 2001. Initially, the real Aaron Brokovich was displeased with Roberts being cast to portray her in Aaron Brokovich, 2000, because she felt Roberts didn't match her own psychical appearance and was too well spoken. She suggested Goldie Hawn and Roseanne Barr for the part. She is a huge fan of actress Ashwarya Rai Bachchan, who she once commented on being the most beautiful woman in the world, more beautiful than any Hollywood actress. Her parents were close friends with Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King. Walter and Betty Lou Roberts ran the Actors and Writers Workshop, then the only integrated drama school in Atlanta, which the King's eldest daughter Yolanda King attended. The Kings paid the hospital bill for Julia's birth. Is an alumni of the Lee Strasberg Institute, such as actors Angelina Jolie, Frank Miranda, Mickey Rourke, Scarlett Johansson, Rosario Dawson, Dennis Hopper. Brian Cranston improved his shape and bleached his teeth when he was cast as her husband in Larry Crown, 2011, stating that he wanted a pairing of them seem more believable. Good friends with Denzel Washington, since they met while co-starring in The Pelican Brief, 1993. Good friends with Bruce Willis, Tom Hanks, George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Susan Sarandon, Natalie Portman, David Letterman, and Dave Matthews. Lent her celebrity name to help raise money for research to develop a cure for Rett syndrome, a disease which is potentially fatal and randomly strikes girls between the ages of two to six years. Is a huge fan of actress Katherine Hepburn. Was engaged to her Steel Magnolias, 1989, co-star, Dylan McDermott. Observed art history classes at New York University in order to prepare for her role in Mona Lisa Smile, 2003. Whenever Julia is unavailable to re-record her dialogue on film, fellow actress Amy Landecker regularly substitutes by providing her voice for ADR, automated dialogue replacement. Many of Robert's movie trailers also feature the voice of Landecker. Turned down leading role in Sleepless in Seattle, 1993, which went to Meg Ryan. Splits her downtime between her ranch in Taos, New Mexico, and a home in New York City. Gave birth to her third child at age 39, a son Henry Daniel Motor, on June 18, 2007. Child's father is her second husband, Daniel Motor. Thirteen films of her career have been nominated for at least one Academy Award. Gave birth to twins, her first and second child, at age 37, a son Finn Motor, a.k.a. Phineas Walter Motor, and a daughter Hazel Motor, a.k.a. Hazel Patricia Motor, on November 28, 2004. Child's father is her second husband, Daniel Motor. Turned down the female lead in Shakespeare in Love, 1998. Is a longtime fan of the Dave Matthews Band, and appeared in their music video, Dreamgirl, in 2005. It was her first performance after giving birth to her twins. Is one of 16 actresses that have won an Academy Award, 
BAFTA Award, Critics' Choice Award, Golden Globe Award, and SAG Award for the same performance. The others in chronological order are Renee Zellweger for Cold Mountain, 2003, Reese Witherspoon for Walk the Line, 2005, Helen Mirren for The Queen, 2006, Jennifer Hudson for Dreamgirls, 2006, Kate Winslet for The Reader, 2008, and Monique for Precious, 2009, Natalie Portman for Black Swan, 2010, Octavia Spencer for The Help, 2011, and Hathaway for Les Miserables, 2012, Kate Blanchett for Blue Jasmine, 2013, Patricia Arquette for Boyhood, 2014, Julianne Moore for Still Alice, 2014, Brie Larson for Room, 2015, Allison Janney for I, Tanya, 2017, and Frances McDormand for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, 2017. Currently has made just one movie, Blood Red, 1989, with brother Eric Roberts. Dated Matthew Perry. She won an Oscar for playing Aaron Brockovich in Aaron Brockovich, 2000, making her one of 17 actors to win the award for playing a real person who was still alive at the evening of the award ceremony, as of 2015. The other 16 actors and their respective performances are, Spencer Tracy for playing Father Edward Flanagan in Boys Town, 1938, Gary Cooper for playing Alvin C. York in Sergeant York, 1941, Patty Duke for playing Helen Keller in The Miracle Worker, 1962, Jason Robards for playing Ben Bradley in All the President's Men, 1976, Robert De Niro for playing Jake LaMotta in Raging Bull, 1980, Sissy Spacek for playing Loretta Lynn in Coal Miner's Daughter, 1980, Jeremy Irons for playing Claus Von Bulow in Reversal of Fortune, 1990, Susan Sarandon for playing Sister Helen Prejean in Dead Man Walking, 1995, Jeffrey Rush for playing David Helfgott in Shine, 1996, Jim Broadbent for playing John Bailey in Iris, 2001, Helen Mirren for playing Queen Elizabeth II in The Queen, 2006, Sandra Bullock for playing Lee and Tui in The Blind Side, 2009, Melissa Leo for playing Alice Eklund Ward in The Fighter, 2010, Christian Bale for playing Dickie Eklund in The Fighter, 2010, Meryl Streep for playing Margaret Thatcher in The Iron Lady, 2011, and Eddie Redmayne for playing Stephen Hawking in The Theory of Everything, 2014. She never acted in a sequel until Ocean's 12, 2004. Born to Walter Grady Roberts, 1933-1977, a vacuum cleaner salesman, and his wife Betty Lou Berdemus, 1934-2015, a one-time church secretary and real estate agent. Her parents were stage actors and acting coaches. At the 2002 People's Choice Awards she admitted to being a huge fan of Days of Our Lives, 1965, and asked to be seated near the cast. In 2006, she earned $5 million for endorsing Gianfranco Ferre. She posed for eight print ads, which was equivalent for one day of work. Has a movie within a movie, Scenes in the Player, 1992, Notting Hill, 1999, America's Sweethearts, 2001, and Full Frontal, 2002. Played clarinet in the band. She attended Griffin Middle School and then Campbell High School has worked with both Hector Elizondo and Richard Gere in two different movies, first in Pretty Woman, 1990, and then again in Runaway Bride, 1999. Has supported UNICEF enthusiastically. Had a maternal half-sister, Nancy Motes, 1976-2014. Her Broadway debut in the play Three Days of Rain in 2006 received terrible reviews for her performance and ran for just 70 performances. Canadian singer-songwriter Chantal Kreviazuk wrote the song Julia about her after seeing her at a Los Angeles restaurant. Her Oscar-winning performance as Erin Brockovich Ellis was ranked number 31 on the American Film Institute's Heroes list of the 100 years of the greatest screen heroes and villains. Quotes I enjoy hats. And when one has filthy hair, that is a good accessory. I'm too tall to be a girl, I never had enough dresses to be a lady. I wouldn't call myself a woman. I'd say I'm somewhere between a chick and a broad. My real hair color is kind of a dark blonde. Now I just have mood hair. In a 1998 interview, I've sort of grown into my cuteness. About President George W. 
Bush's daughters being caught with alcohol is minor, we all need to take a deep breath and think about being a Bush daughter and having that cross to bear. I'd go out and have a couple of drinks, too. About forgetting to include the real-life Erin Brockovich Ellis in her Academy Award acceptance speech, it doesn't bring out the Einstein moment that you hoped it would. You know I'm like a total geek, right? First of all, I sit on the set and knit. It's a very social hobby, as opposed to reading at work, I can chat with people and still be fully engaged. About President George W. Bush, he's embarrassing, he's not my president. He will never be my president. I'm just an ordinary person who has an extraordinary job. On the Essence HR job, I get dressed up like a doll, a nice man puts lipstick on my lips and I say words, it's deeply satisfying. And why she will never do a nude scene, I just don't feel that my algebra teacher should ever know what my butt looks like. You can be true to the character all you want, but you've got to go home with yourself. Interview in People magazine, August 2, 99, the first time I felt I was famous was when I went to the movies with my mom. I had gone to the loo, and someone in the bathroom said in a very loud voice, Girl in stall number one, were you in Mystic Pizza, 1988? I paused and I said, yeah, that was me. I think it's dangerous to talk in the big generalities of sexism and ageism and faceliftisms. You really have to speak only from your own experience. And my experience so far has been ridiculously nice. Yeah, do the boys get paid more? Yes. But do we all get paid too much? Yes. I'm confused at what I'm supposed to complain about. I wouldn't do nudity in films. To act with my clothes on is a performance. To act with my clothes off is a documentary. It's heaven truly. We were rehearsing one day, and we had just moved into the theater and it was dark out here, and I was on stage, and all of a sudden, I hear, Mama. And Hazel had come in and in the dark just to hear this little voice, and it's incredibly amazing. I think one of the smartest things I ever did for my career was not working for two years in the early 90s. I was being offered a lot of different movies, but I just didn't see the point of any of them. People would say to me, how can you just be passing on all those things? And my response was, tell me a movie you've seen in the past year that I should have made. About her success, I'm just a girl from a little town in Georgia who had this giant, absurd dream. On Clive Owen, George Clooney is obsessed with Clive. Every good guy actor talks about Clive as one of their favorites. Because he's English, because his successes have stood on the shoulders of his talents alone, and because he hasn't been carried away by popular culture. I'm tall and smart. If you're aggressive and energetic, it can be intimidating for people who aren't very smart themselves. We are happy as clams. I am fulfilled by my own life on an hourly basis. Every little moment is amazing if you let yourself access it. I learn that all the time from my kids, children are so filled with wonder. My youngest son woke up at 5 a.m. the other morning and said to me, It's a beautiful day, Mama. What's more precious than that? I say you can call me, but I don't necessarily call everybody back now. I'm not off the market, but my decision-making has more components than it used to. On Meeting Eat Pray Love, 2010, director Ryan Murphy, I fell totally under his spell. We're sort of like best girlfriends now. I believe that the way you feel about your life will eventually show up on your face. On Larry Crown, 2011, this was my first college experience. And the first time I had to speak in front of a classroom, I was apoplectic. All these faces looking up at me, thinking, what is she going to teach us? I needed to find my composure. It was very hard it was terrible, in fact. It's not just great teachers that shape your life, sometimes it's the absence of great teachers. Being ignored can be just as good for a person as being lauded. On being asked how she developed her role as the nasty queen in Mirror Mirror, 2012, The Untold Adventures of Snow White, 2012, well, I'm happy to announce that she's not inside me. But, without naming names, I drew from a couple of people I know better than I wish I did and found it very fun and helpful. On how she manages fame and family, family values. That's actually values in general. That's all there is. Fame is just a summer breeze that comes and goes. 
but to have a bedrock of knowing who you are, that's what it's all about. On working with Meryl Streep, I've never seen anyone work harder than she does. She doesn't just snap her fingers and be a genius. To work with Meryl Streep is a dream come come true for anyone. To know her is an honor, she is such a beautiful person and it was intimidating, certainly to be in these scenes with her. Choking her, and things like that, were not how I pictured it going in my mind all these years. I thought we'd be together, having tea and speaking fabulous accents, all dressed up. But there we were I'm sweating and have on a big butt pad. Meryl sees not only what I need as an actor, but what I need as a girl in the world. She provides that, all the time. No wonder she's sleeping. She's exhausted after taking care of me. On filming August, Osage County, 2013, here's the thing, here's the crux of the biscuit, if you will. We worked our asses off. Because there was no other way to do it. I've never worked so hard in my life and I've given birth to three children. It was like a mountain to climb every single day, and the only way to climb it, we discovered, was holding hands, whether we liked it or not. On James Gandolfini, if there was ever a friend I can only smile when I think of even when it is through tears, it is James. My friendship with him was invisible. The sparest amount of notes or tangible signs that we shared some of our life experiences together, the evidence is only within my heart and a handful of cards, some photographs. The same could, I realize, be said for his acting. It was invisible. Sitting down with my husband, who was also a friend of James, recently to watch Enough said, 2013, one realized how skillful, masterful really James was. He so completely inhabits the part of Albert that the heartsick feeling I had at seeing James gave way to interest in the plight of Albert. Amazing. Julia Louis-Dreyfus is transcendent in this film and it is so simple and delicate and their relationship is funny and authentic and suddenly, poof, the film was over. I felt so sad. Sitting there still. But realized I was smiling. Because, of course, he was once again invisible. I would like to work with Johnny Depp. I've known him a long time. I think he's so interesting, and I think we look alike in a funny way. So Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp and I will play brother and sister in something. I don't know what I've already said about I Love Trouble, 1994, other than that it was a piece of shit, it's no secret than Nick and I didn't get along like a house on fire. The older you get, the more fragile you understand life to be. I think that's good motivation for getting out of bed joyfully each day, not performing nude, you know, not to be criticizing others' choices. But for me to not take off my clothes in a movie, or be vulnerable in physical ways is a choice that I guess I make for myself. But in effect, I'm choosing not to do something as opposed to choosing to do something. Salaries. Leave the world behind. 2023. $25 million. Includes back end. Homecoming. 2018. $600,000 per episode. Wonder. 2017. $6 million. Mother's Day. 2016. $3 million. Eat Pray Love, 2010, $10 million. Valentine's Day, 2010, $3 million plus 3% of the film's gross. Duplicity, 2009, $15 million. Oceans 12, 2004, $5 million. Closer, 2004, $20 million. Mona Lisa Smile, 2003, $25 million. Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, 2003, $250,000, scale, Oceans 11, 2001, $10 million, America's Sweethearts, 2001, $15 million, The Mexican, 2001, $5 million, Pay Cut, Aaron Brockovich, 2000, $20 million, Runaway Bride, 1999, $17 million, Notting Hill, 1999, $15 million. Conspiracy Theory, $1,997, $11 million. My Best Friend's Wedding, $1,997, $12 million. Mary Riley, $1,996, $8,500,000. $8 the Pelican Brief, $1,993, $8 million. Hook, $1,991, $7 million. Dying Young, $1,991, 
3 million dollars sleeping with the enemy 1991 1 million dollars law and order 1990 four thousand dollars scale flatliners 1990 five hundred thousand dollars pretty woman 1990 three hundred thousand dollars steel magnolias 1989 ninety thousand dollars mystic pizza one thousand nine hundred eighty eight fifty thousand dollars <laughs>